Hey guys, today I'll be talking about a new legendary shotgun of the Taken King, Patch A. Patch A is a Dead Orbit shotgun that can be purchased for 150 legendary marks provided you're repping Dead Orbit and have reached rank 3 with them. Looking at the perks this weapon has, the first column has Soft Ballistics and Accurized Ballistics. Soft Ballistics will give a big boost to stability at cost of a little extra range and impact that comes with Accurized Ballistics. Next up we have Crowd Control, which is a personal favorite and is a great perk for shotguns. After that is Rangefinder, which is a shotgun perk that I'm sure needs no introduction. Lastly, we have Single Point Sling, Hand Loaded, and Rifled Barrel. Considering this weapon already has abysmal reload and the awesome range increase of Rifled Barrel, I decided to go with that perk. Now after looking at these perks, I expected this to be another Felwinter's Lie type of sniper shotgun, but after using it, I can safely say that it isn't. It's certainly good in PvE content, doing a high amount of damage at pretty great range, not to mention with really good stability. This thing just cuts through enemies, even majors, especially when that crowd control perk is active. The 6-shot magazine also means that you have a lot of extra damage from the crowd control perk, since you don't have to constantly reload. What I was surprised to see with this weapon is that you don't wield godlike power in Crucible. It's pretty good, dealing solid damage at decent range, but it'll take 2 or 3 well-placed shots to finish someone at the higher end of this weapon's range. To one shot, you'll need to be quite close or else clip off a nice headshot. Shotguns like Felwinters and Party Crasher are going to one-shot you at much greater range than this weapon can handle. Comparing the stats between these weapons, Patch A has slightly lower impact and slightly lower range than those shotguns, putting it in between shotguns like Party Crasher and other shotguns like Swordbreaker or Wolfborn Oath. Overall, I really like this shotgun in PvE content. It has a high damage output that's accentuated by the crowd control perk and a high enough clip size to maximize crowd control's potential. In Crucible, this weapon is going to be outdamaged by the older shotguns. In events like Iron Banner, where things like Party Crash will be irrelevant because of their lower attack value, I would say this weapon will be pretty useful. Otherwise, it'll be a frustrating experience. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.